welcome back. It's the freaking weekend, and we back to do another cook with me, cook with you. So today I'm making something that is just <clears throat> I don't even want to tell you, but I gotta tell you. Cause if I don't tell you, how you gonna cook it? How you gonna stay tuned? How you gonna watch to the end? Cause I need you to watch to the end. All right, you hear me? I see you back there. Got your notebook out. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So today we're gonna make a red velvet cream cheese swirl cake that's a lot that's a lot i know it's a lot but i'm telling you you know how i cook you know how i get down semi homemade semi store bought all together with love from the heart so what we're about to do is get into this cook i want you to take notes i want you to know i'm gonna have everything listed in the description box below and if you feel like you want to add or tweak something listen come here come here tell me Cause I'm trying to cook what you cook and then it could be like our famous recipe you know our famous recipe not yours don't be selfish don't be selfish cuz I didn't have to tell you about this but let's get into it follow me in the kitchen Woo! hey guys today we're gonna to be making a red velvet cheesecake I know y'all like what red velvet cheesecake so I already told you in the intro what we're making right now let's get into it nothing but to do it I'm gonna do a rundown of all the ingredients things that we need because you know this is semi homemade semi store bought so <clears throat> get a red velvet cake box it doesn't matter what brand that you like just pick up a box then you want to follow the instructions in the back of the box whatever it tells you ingredients to have that's what you need to have because it's semi so you bought this from the store <clears throat> So what we're going to do is go ahead and make the cake portion first. You want to preheat your oven to 350 or whatever it tells you on the box. And then from there, I'm going to show you how to make the cheesecake part, which is going to be the bun. I'm going to ask you to use a bun pan instead of a cake pan or, or um, what's the other type of pan you can use? Or cupcakes. You might want to sift the cake powder if you like I didn't sift it um I didn't think it was gonna be this crumbly but it is so on the box the instructions told me I need three large eggs and I'm gonna go ahead and crack these three large eggs and I have them right here I have one brown egg which is a farmer's egg and then the other two are just white eggs from the grocery store I should know somebody that has chickadees and they gave me some eggs Make sure you don't get any shells in these eggs, because if you do, guess what? Who eats the most gets the most. That's what I saw in my house. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and blend them eggs up on low. Now you need a cup of water. I just got room temperature water. Go ahead and blend that up as well. And then you need a third cup of vegetable oil. I'm going to go ahead, add that in here, and blend it up on low. All right. What I always say, every good cook or baker has a spatula. So you want to go ahead and whip around them edges. Them edges. And you want to make sure everything is incorporated so you just want to do a nice little fold and then you want to blend it up on low one more time and then we're going to sit this aside and i'm going to show you how i'm going to get to making that cream cheese filling all right scrape the sides down again And we're going to sit this to the side and then I'm going to get the next step ingredients out so we can make the cheesecake filling. Alright guys, so we're back. We're making the second part of the red velvet cheesecake. So, I'm going to tell you a little back of this story. My cousin makes a no-bake cheesecake so she doesn't add eggs in here. And I was like, ooh, I like that. It doesn't take that long. You can make this ahead of time. And it's still good. So I was like, man, I'm going to try that. But I always forget some things. So I was talking to her on the phone and I was like, hey, I'm going to make this red velvet cheesecake swirl. And she was like, yes, I'm running down the ingredients. And she was like, listen, 
I know my recipe. And I was like, I was just checking with you, you know? But she gonna look at this and she gonna laugh like, yeah, she's still trying to check. But I did check and I had all the ingredients. So it's our famous recipe. <laughs> just letting y'all know that. So what you gonna need for this second part? You're gonna need some vanilla. Any type of vanilla, I'll provide you to get a good type of vanilla. You need some cream cheese, any style that you like, an eight ounce. You need a room temperature because guess what? You're gonna have to blend this up. You need a half a cup of sugar. You're gonna need a half of a lemon squeeze, and that's about it. Oh, and some whipped cream. You need the one in the tub, but I have this one. It's gonna work the same way. So, what you're gonna need to do is make sure your cream cheese is room temperature. If it's not room temperature, you can pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds, two times. So one time put it in there 30 seconds stare, put it in a second time, stir it up, take it out. It should be room temperature. And you know if you put it on high, it gets the stuff off your mixer. Okay, so once you mix it up, it should look like that. Next thing you want to do, you want to add the sugar in there. Just dump it in there. Then you want to add your lemon juice. Dump it on in there. Next, you want to add a couple splashes of your vanilla. You don't want to add too much because then you're going to make it change colors. But you want that flavor. So I probably put about a tablespoon in there. Next, you want to add about a cup or a cup and a half of whipped cream, which I have it in the canister because my silly butt, I forgot what I was been doing. But it still works. Bam. That still works. Now you want to blend this on low till you have like a spread type consistency. Alright, now you want to take your clean spoon and taste it. Mm -mm -mm. It should taste like cream cheese. It shouldn't taste like cream cheese, I'm sorry. It should taste like a cheesecake. If it doesn't taste like cheesecake, then you might need to add a little bit more stuff to it. And then once you get done, it should come out like a spread. Now, depending on how many boxes of red velvet cake that you're making, then you want to add <coughs> a pack for each box that you make. I'm only making one, so this is going to work out for me. Let's get to the next part of this project. So, scoot all this aside. Last and third final. I told you I'm using the bunt pan. The bunt pan is pretty much a round pan and it has like a circumference in the middle so um, it's gonna come out circle with a hole in the middle so you can fill it up with fruit whatever I want to use the bunt pan because when I cut it um, I want you to see inside and I just wanted to circle and I wanted to be extra so you're gonna need like a stick something that you can swirl the cream cheese in to make this look delicious okay um, this is a non-stick pan, but I'm still going to take it and I'm going to spray around here because I have had times when I um, baked something and it did not pop out. So, just spray it over the sink, not the floor, because you might fall later and you're going to be mad at yourself. So, the next thing you want to do is get your red velvet. Alright, <clears throat> so you want to just go around here evenly and distrib distribute your red velvet cake. But you want to just pour half of your ingredients in here. And then you want to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Until it looks like that. Next, you want to take your cream cheese and just do a daisy with dollop. No, you just want to dollop it in there though. <laughs> So take your fork or your stick or whatever you have in handy and do some figure eights. Take your wooden spoon and swirl it in there, baby. Now this is a fun project for kids. This is great if you're going to do this cake um, with chocolate or I wouldn't do it with vanilla because one, you're not going to see it. A vanilla cake on top of vanilla cake on top of vanilla cake, you're not going to see it. 
maybe if you do it with a um, another type of cake, oh, a lemon cake is the bomb. A banana cake, if you go back and look at Cook With Me videos, I have a banana cake, guys. It makes you want to slap your mama. And if you put this in here, oh shoot. It makes you want to do other things. I don't know. Now y'all got me thinking. Got me thinking. Alright. So I'm going to take the rest of this cake mix and dump it on top. So give it a little shake, a shake and a drop, a shake and a drop, and a shake and a drop. Alright, and you want to keep shaking and dropping it until it's evenly distributed in your pan. And the dropping it just pops the bubbles out. Shaking it, make sure you have an even layer in your pan, but dropping it gets the bubbles out. Alright, so your oven's at 350. You're going to put this in whatever pan or baking type situation material that you want to put it in there. I'm going to put this in the oven, so on 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. And then afterwards, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to let it rest. And y'all, this is going to make you want to slap your mom and mama. Meaning your grandma or, you know, whoever mama's around. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we will be back. Alright guys, we are back. Our red velvet cheesecake is done cooking. I took it out of the oven. I let it sit for about 20 minutes because I have things to do. But this is how you check it if you want to see and make sure it's clean. So um, this is the stick that we used to do the swirls. And I'm just going to take the other side. And it's red because I checked it to make sure. So I'm going to poke it in there. And if it comes out clean and not gooey or anything, then the cake is done. So that's some fact. Easy. If it comes out gooey, your cake is not done, let it sit in there for a few minutes. If it's a little bit gooey, cut the oven off, let it sit in there. Bing, bada, boom, it's done. You can take a butter knife or you can take a knife. really doesn't matter. And you just want to go around the edges to release it. The steam, the pressure, just to release it. Now, this is stainless steel. It said. So hopefully, since I use a bun cake, all I have to do, because it's greasy, is just take and pop it out of there. There we go. So I'm taking it from the bottom. Boom. Oh, y'all, this is beautiful. <laughs> Look what I've done. Now, it's really beautiful, and this is a red velvet cake. So I have a cookie rack or baker's rack. Which really is just to cool it off and I'm sitting it on here. That's beautiful. Beautiful. It smells really good. Alright, so I'm going to set this to the side. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make a little drizzle to go on top. Because I want a little drizzle to go on top. This is just too plain. Too plain Jane. And I'm not plain Jane. So let's set this on the side. And let's scoot aside to make the icing. So I'm going to make a cheesecake um, drizzle icing pretty much doesn't take that much so I have two and a half cups of confectioner sugar you can use um, the plain recipe on how to make icing but I'm not I'm just gonna jazz it up a little bit put a little cream cheese in there and some extra stuff but I have two cups of confectioner sugar a powdered sugar and I'm just gonna dump that in there Now, I don't want a thick icing. I want like a real light icing. So, for me to have a real light icing, I probably have to add a little bit more milk in here or a little bit more butter. Because it's not that serious. And I don't have a lot of icing. If you have a lot of icing, it's going to get thick. But I don't want an icing, a thick icing. I just want like a real light one. Look at that guy. So this is about the consistency that I want it because I want to drizzle it over the cake, okay? Or the cupcakes or whatever you decide to make with this recipe. Around. 
Ooh, look at that. Look at that, boy. Didn't take you long at all. And to save you time, and it doesn't get everywhere. And I'm just going to take my whisk and just let it do its thing. And you can keep this refrigerated for about two to three weeks and use it again for something else. So you don't have to throw this in a way. Have it. And it doesn't take that long to make. Look at that. Look. That is looking delicious. I'm going to take a picture right quick. Dig into it. So I want y'all to see what this looks like. With the swirl. I'm going to cut a big piece so y'all can see. Hold on guys, had to be fancy. <laughs> it is moist. Look at that. Look guys, look. Look at the cheesecake swirl inside there. That's looking delicious. Let's just sit that on our plate. That's looking good. Now let's go over this cake before we eat it. One, you see the key. The key. One, you see the cheesecake swirl in there. It turned a little pinkish, but it don't matter. It's looking good. The cake is spongy. It's soft. Telling you that means it's moist, so we put enough oil. It's not dry. And it's red. It's not too dark. It's not crispy. And it's looking delicious. We're about to dig into this. Alright, let's taste it. Yeah. Let's get into this. Let's talk about how this cake is moist. Let's talk about how this cake tastes delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Icing. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. The icing is good. So, semi homemade, semi store bought. We put our foot in the icing, the cream cheese mixture. The cake was simple. You had to make sure you put enough oil in it, you cook it in time. Everything came out wonderful. So, until next time, I want you to try this recipe. Like, subscribe, join a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell all of them. Come to my channel if they want to learn how to cook. This is for beginners. Um, to make it more of an experience, leave a comment below. Hit me up. Leave an email. Or you can even email me if you like. But until next time, y'all, <laughs> this cake. <laughs> Make you slap your mama's mama, 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 grandma, mama. I'm, I'm telling you, look at it. Delish.